game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Wink Wonder. Thank you. We have a new champion from the last show. Perhaps you saw and met this lady when she was with us. She won 1100 bucks. Let's meet her right now. She's our new champion. Jay, if you will. Here's our current champion whose winnings in cash and prizes total $1,100. She's a housewife and a mother who's married to a doctor. Meet Andrea Jason. This is Andrea Jason, as Jay said, and she won $1,100 on the last show. Andrea has her husband with her, Dr. Uh, Dr. Jason, no doubt. Perhaps we'll meet him in just a moment. Is he going to help you select numbers as you try to beat the dragon? He's going to do it all. How about he, uh, little, any, any little Andreas at your house? Yes, there's Amanda who's two. Two, and that's too young to be here, right? Yes. See home night-night. Well, Andrea, welcome to our show once again. Good luck as we try to beat the dragon at the big board. Please join me over here. You feel at home here? Step right up here. There we go. And I want you to do the very best you can. We'll work together and try to beat the dragon behind the numbers of various amounts of money and our mean monster who loves to do us all in. All you have to do is reach $1,000 or more and you'll win a very nice prize package. Now, Andrea, do you like to cook? Yes. That's good. That is good because you're really going to like this prize package. And here's Jay Stewart to tell you all about it. Now listen to him. First, Andrea, you'll prepare gourmet cuisine with your versatile food processor. It's the stainless steel Vitamix, a three-minute bread maker and home yogurt factory that juices without waste, cooks without burning, and freezes instant ice cream and offers 800 other recipes. And you'll cook marvelous meals with your gas range. The energy saver from Hardwick. Solid state ignition eliminates standing gas pilots and saves fuel. Continue cleaning oven available in five colors furnished by Hardwick Stove Company and to use on your new range it's cookware Incor cookware features exclusive multi-core five-ply construction minimum moisture cooking and gentle even heat distribution Incor is crafted of gleaming stainless steel then to clean up after those meals it's a dishwasher a Kelvinator portable convertible dishwasher with cutting board top features 11 automatic cycles, including scour power cycle and energy saving drying cycle. Also has soft scrap disposer from Kelvinator. And Andrea, you'll be able to store your leftovers in your new refrigerator. Gibson three-door refrigerator freezer with two energy-saving freezer compartments, automatic door closers, and Gibson exclusive frost clear system throughout. And Andrea, this special kitchen package is worth in cash and prizes almost $3,500. Sounds like we want you to spend all of your time in the kitchen, doesn't it? Now avoid the dragon or you lose everything. Get the tick and the tack and you automatically get the dough. Let's cover everything up on the board, move them all around. Andre, it'll be up to you and your hubby out there to select numbers. You want to pick the first one? No, I want him to do it all. All right. Doctor, if you will, please, sir, what number would you like for this lady to have? Number five. Number five it is. And let's find out if our couple is going to win. Tack, you're on your way. You need one more call of the tick. Find that and you'll have an automatic win. Okay, Andre, what do you think now? I'm watching him. What does he say? Numero nine, and nine it is. Is it a tick? She'd have a win with two calls if it is. $500. Let's go back to the good doctor once again. You need $500 or tick. Number one. Number one, top left-hand corner of our big board. If it's $500, you got it. It's 100. You need 400 more. What does he say this time? Doctor said? Number two. Little news, number two next to the one. You need $400. You got 250. You're getting close. Remember, the next call could be the dragon. You can stop anytime you like. Stop. No way. Needs $150 or tick. Number six. That's the call. $150. You got it. There it is. Very nice. Doctor, you do understand that with a win like this so fast, a hug goes to the host from the contestant. All right. It is one clear. See how big he Big man. How much he weigh? 180. Mm -hmm. He doesn't mind us talking about that, does he? I hope not. <laughs> I do, too. You, you don't. I hope not. Let's look behind 3, 4, 7, and 8. Where were the dragon? 
Dragon was behind number seven in this case, and you win. That makes you a winner. All right, you have in cash and prizes so far, Andrea, and maybe this is just a beginning for you. $4,600. We're going to take a commercial break, then we'll meet a new contestant for her to play against. We'll be right back. Four more opponents. You've already defeated one. If you defeat a total of five, if you, it's easy for me to say. If you defeat a total of five, you'll win this, Jay. It's a brand new car! Skylark, designed for comfort and convenience, with front wheel drive providing impressive control and traction. And it's furnished by Buick. In addition, polyglycoat sound shield for the noisy underside of your car, not an undercoating. Polyglycoat is a sound shield, available at new car dealers only. Now back to Wink Martindale. Let me see if I can say this. Jay, would you be so kind as to introduce a new opponent for Andrea? Yes, he is a paramedic and firefighter for the city of Fullerton. And he enjoys skiing and crossword puzzles. Meet Mark Martin. Hello, Mark. Welcome to our show. Thank you. I was just thinking being a paramedic and a firefighter must be a very, very exciting job. Tell us about that. It's a pretty exciting job. I really like it. It gives me a tremendous feeling to be able to go into a scene that's uh, filled with emotion and chaos and hopefully restore order to that scene. And sometimes we save a life and property along the way, too. Is it true, though, that between those moments of, uh, shall we say, action, there's a lot of boredom involved with nothing to do? Yeah, we do have a lot of time to fill, but we have different ways. And uh, one way is watching television, and uh, we watch tic-tac-toe at nights. And that's probably why I'm here today, is uh, after one of those shows, the uh, firefighters I work with challenged me to see if I could get on the show. And that's how you got here? That's why I'm here now, and I hope I don't goof up or there's no going back to the <laughs> station tomorrow. No going back to that fire station. All right, now, do you have to share with uh, your winnings with all the guys at the station? Well, we, we have uh, cuts. I had to sell cuts, so everybody has a piece of the action. All right, let's see how you do. Welcome to Tic-Tac-Doe. And uh, that's interesting. If you notice, he is a paramedic, and uh, her husband is a doctor. So there's, there's got to be a correlation there somewhere between the two. Good luck to you both. All right, here we go. The subjects for this game are take a letter, mythology, world capitals, poetry, tennis, men of ideas, spelling, Famous movies and secret category. Secret category could be any category at all. Answer the question and the pot will automatically double. Andrea, as our champion, you get the chance to go first. I'll take World Capitals. World Capitals, top right-hand corner of the board. Andrea, Belgrade is the capital of this communist nation, which is located on the Balkan Peninsula. Name it. Yugoslavia. Right, Yugoslavia. What a nice thing. Let's move those categories around. $200 in the pot. And we'll move to Mark for his first selection. Mark, they're pulling for you. Darn, I was hoping for a better one than mythology. Would you like something different? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to stay away from that. And uh, no, I'm going to go ahead, right in the middle with mythology. All right, he's going to go against his better judgment, going with mythology in the center. We're told that two mythological twins were credited with founding the city of Rome. During the city's construction, one of the brothers killed the other. Name the twins. Think about that for a few seconds, Mark. <laughs> Mark, again, we're told that two mythological twins were credited with founding the city of Rome. During the city's construction, one of the brothers killed the other. Can you name the twins? I have no idea, but I'm going to say Romulus. And? Remus. Right! That's right! <laughs> I've heard that too. <laughs> now... I, I, I said and because obviously I said twin, so he named one and I asked him to name the other. Was that, now that had to, obviously was a guess. I, was tr I thought maybe one or the other. I didn't know there was two. I that is the one. Mark, uh, when we mention <laughs> twins, that always means two. You understand? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, boy, they're going to love you at the fire station. $300 to the pot. Let's move the categories around once again and move back to Andrea Jason. I'll take mythology in the top left. Mythology, all right. Andrea, here's the question. According to the poet Homer, the beautiful Helen was abducted by Paris and taken to this ancient city. Name it. Troy. Right. Another $200 for the pot. Takes it to 700. Let's shuffle the categories around. <laughs> Move them all around and get back to Mark. Never a dull moment with Mark. <clears throat> we don't have much poetry around the station, but I'm going <laughs> to I'm I'm have to try poetry to block. All right, you're looking for a block with poetry. Mark, here's your question to block Andrea. 
This romantic English poet of the 1800s bore the royal title of Lord. His famous works include Ocean, Waterloo, and She Walks in Beauty. For a block, name him. Byron? Yes, that's right. Lord George Gordon Byron. Good for a block. Put it over there. Let's shuffle the categories again. $900 in the pot. Andrea. I'll take famous movies for the block. All right, you're trying the block mark this time, Andrea. Take a look at this picture, please. This is a scene from a classic adventure movie. To block mark, name it. The Kane Mutiny? No, I'm sorry. It's Mutiny on the, the bounty. bounty. Mutiny on the Bounty. A lot of people get those two confused, I guess. Let's move the categories around. $900 in the pot, and we move to Mark. I've been studying this one. It better come up good. I'll try World Capitals for Tic-Tac-Toe. All righty. If you answer this question, you will have $1,100 for you and the guys at the fire station. Here's your question. In 1927, the capital of this nation was officially moved from Melbourne to Canberra. For tic-tac-toe and $1,100, name it. Australia. Yes, you win. Take our hat off to Ramos and Remulus, too. <laughs> hey, Mark, congratulations. A vertical tic-tac-toe with those three to goes on the board and $1,100 for you as you uh, move over to our champion's position in just a moment. Andrea Jason, that guy kind of beat you in this game, but you do not leave empty-handed because you want a nice, tidy sum, a lot of prizes and some cash. It all comes to a grand total of $4,600. And our best to you and the good doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea and Dr. Jason. We'll be back after these commercials to see if Mark can whip the dragon. Set and ready to go now, huh? I'm ready. You seem so relaxed and at ease, I don't think anybody could beat you, much less the dragon. I'm not going to tell you I'm at ease. <laughs> All right, come on over. We're going to find out how at ease you are. I'm happy for you. You certainly handled that game in Andrea with ease there. By the way, you have some people in the audience. First of all, you have your wife. What's her name? Uh, Debbie. And uh, I also have my mother-in-law and father. You mean that girl that looks like uh, your wife's daughter sitting on her left is your mother-in-law? Isn't she something? Did I just make points or did <laughs> I just make points? But she looks so young. Gee, yeah. wow. She's, she's a terrific lady. It's been about 12 or 13 when she had that lovely wife. Let here. me point out, I also yes. have my best friend sitting right behind them, Jamie and Larry. Hello, Jamie and Larry. Oh, yeah. She was just laughing and having a big time before we got started with the show today. Hey, do you like foreign sites? Oh, you bet. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd say that because our next prize package is going to help you enjoy them. And here is Jay to tell you why. First, Mark, you'll enjoy the foreign charm and culture on your trip to Mexico City. Enjoy the friendly people and exciting pace of enchanting Mexico City. You'll fly to colorful Mexico City via Western Airlines, wide-body DC-10 spaceship, featuring Western's internationally famous Fiesta flight service. And while there, you'll be able to enjoy a cosmopolitan treasure, El Continental, Mexico City, in the Zona Rosa at the very heart of Mexico City. Superb accommodations, international cuisine, shopping, and sightseeing. Yours to enjoy in this city of eternal spring, furnished by El Continental, Mexico City. Then, to pack for your trip, it's this fashionable luggage. A five-piece ensemble of Rover Star Flight soft-side luggage in unisex colors for the entire family. Organized interiors, digital combination locks, and fashionable design. A perfect partner for carefree travel. And to capture those foreign sights on film, it's this handy 35-millimeter camera. This compact chin-on 35-millimeter camera with quality chin-on lens. All you ever need for perfect pictures every time. Chin on, we make it easy for you. And finally, Mark, now that you've gotten a taste of the new Spanish culture, you'll be going to where it all began, to sunny Spain. You'll have 16 sensational days of fun and adventure. This beautiful country will capture you with its distinct charm, culture, cuisine, and climate. Whether you like siestas or fiestas, you won't want to miss this holiday to sunny Spain. Compliments of Tic Tac Toe. And mark this foreign sites package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,900. Hey, 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 let's do it now to the mean dragon.
Yeah, remember, all you, by the way, we'll get you over there, but how are you going to get back? That's your problem. No, that's round trip. Hey, you're going to see a dragon jumping all over the board in just a second. Now, the object is, I told you a while ago, is to get $1,000 or more without hitting that mean monster. Do that, and you'll get all those goodies worth over $3,900. You all set and ready to go? Let's do it. All right, just take a look at the board now. Get a little bit closer. Cross your legs and fingers, and away we go. Um, uh, I need help. I'd like to... Uh, he wants help. Speak up so we can all hear you now. Mother-in-law says four, honey. He's going to go with you. What's behind number four? 300 big ones. All right. I need 700 more dollars. Remember, the next call could be the dragon. You can stop anytime you'd like. I'll say one. All right. Which one you want to go to, though? One. All right. They say one. And here is what is behind number one to go with three. 250. 550. You need 450 more. What is your wife's name? Debbie. Debbie. You want to go with Debbie? You're going to go with your uh, mother-in-law? Doing great. What's, what's mother-in-law's name? Betty. Betty, he's going to go with you. What'd you say? Almost forgot her name. She says six. <laughs> well, get nervous up here. Number six. six. All right, you need $450. Let's see if you can pull it off with number six. Let's take a look behind six. The dragon. Well, Betty, listen. Doggone it. You win a few, you lose a few up here, and it can't always come out perfect. That trip to Spain. Wouldn't that have been super? It'll be there. Well, your wife's eyes lit up when they were talking about that a few minutes ago. It'll be there again. All right, you'll try it again. Sure, maybe win your next game, come over here and give it a shot again. Let's look at the rest of the board. Two, three, five, seven, eight, and nine. There they were. Different denominations of money and the tip to go with attack. Well, you still have $1,100 and the opportunity to continue play as long as you continue as the champion. So let's meet a new opponent right now, Mark. Get over there and we'll get started. Jay Stewart, who do you have for it? From Cleveland, Ohio, wig and administrative analyst who has a special interest in opera. Meet Sharon Key. Sharon Keys, you've met Mark Martin there quickly, and welcome to Tic-Tac-Toe. Thank you. Tell us about your interest in opera. I was a finalist in Metropolitan Opera auditions a few years ago, and I sang with all the local symphony orchestras, but unfortunately I couldn't keep it up. Why did you give up opera singing? Couldn't make a complete living at it, and I found I was supplementing it by teaching dancing lessons. Yeah, and how'd that work out? Not too well, Wink. I, I was on my feet 12 hours a day, and on top of that I had a bunch of goofy guys on my feet, too. <laughs> And that could be a problem. It hurt feet, too. Yes. Here, hopefully, things will work out better for you on Tic-Tac-Toe. Thank you. Take a look at our board. These are the subjects that uh, we'll be talking about, asking questions about. Our questions will be wrapped around famous couples, the 40s, television roles, presidents, odd facts, second jobs, maps of nations, jacks and johns, and women in sports. Mark Martin, as our champion, select, please. Let's start bottom right-hand corner with women in sports. Here's the question in that category, Mark. At the 1976 Olympic Games, this Romanian gymnast received seven perfect scores and won the all-round title. Name her. Comanich. Right. Nadia Comanich. <laughs> Put it next there. Let's shuffle the categories around and see what comes up for Sharon to pick from. $200 in the pot, Sharon. I'm going to go for the middle, Jackson Johns. Here's the question in that subject. We're $300 to the pot. I'll give you a little extra time to answer this. This famous Johnny won five gold medals in the 1924 and 1928 Olympic Games. Hollywood soon discovered him and he went on to become the most famous of the actors who played Tarzan. First, name him, Sharon, and then in what Olympic sport did he win his medals? Think about that. In the Olympics in 24 and 28, he won five gold medals. He was the most famous of all the actors who played Tarzan. Sharon, name him. Johnny Weissmuller. Correct. In what Olympic sport I'd have did to he win his medals? I'd have to say swimming. He did You're swimming. right. You got it right. Swimming. We put an O there. 300 to add it to the pot as we shuffle the categories around. I probably would have said diving to show you how I do as a... Okay, Mark. I like women in sports. Let's try it again. Upper right-hand corner. All right. Women in sports. Mark, in 1976, Dorothy Hamill won both the world championship and the Olympic gold medal in her sport. Name Hamill's sport. Ice skating. Yes, or figure skating. Correct. We put it up there and shuffle the categories again. Another $200 flies into the pot, Sharon. Yeah? I'll have to go with Jackson Johns again to block. All right, again in that category for a block. To block Mark, Sharon, even before his singing group broke up in the late 60s, this musician named John was recording with a group called the Plastic Ono Band. One of the biggest songs was called Give Peace a Chance. To block Mark, name him. John Lennon. Yes, that's right. John Lennon. 
So we put it over there, another $200 to park. We take the commercial break. We'll be back.